Hello, this is Hasmas Reese here, and well, here's the sixth review, and it is South Park, a World of Legend Cruise Christmas. So now I'm gonna first say this: I I love South Park. In fact, from 2015 to 2017, I was heavily watching the show, and I definitely would say it was something I would watch all the time when I got the chance to. I did stop after uh, when I was exposed to Rick and Morty, but yeah, I still take I still like the show, and I really do admire that. It, in many ways, it keeps on getting better and better outside of maybe the 20th season being a low point. But regardless, we're here to talk about one episode in particular, and it is the Woodland Critters Christmas. Now this now South Park's done a lot of Christmas specials, most of them involving the little piece of of Pooh known as Mr. Hankey, but this is possibly their best one yet. Released in, this was in season 8, and it seems hard to top. So what's the story? Well, the story involves Stan, who is who comes across these critters in the in the, in the forest of South Park known as the Woodland Critters, and they all have cutesy rootsy names and little cutesy rootsy in designs. They're excited because they're one of, because one of them, Porcupine, Porcupine is pregnant with their lord and saviour. Uh, unfortunately, they're having every time a lord they're trying to give birth to their lord and saviour, mountain lion takes kills off the, the expecting parent. So they ask Dan to help him prepare for it as well as deal with the mountain lion. And that's all I want to go into because there are a bunch of twists and turns in this and if you've seen the episode you understand why. I must say, the writing in this and the overall story is handled, is really good, and some South Park's best. The, the critters are absolutely amazing characters, and and every, everyone else in it is also really funny, really memorable, and you, and in many ways, you feel nice, it feels nice watching them. There are many twists and turns in this. I, I, I do not want to give away many of the twists and turns. And yeah, I'm not going to delve into it. There's also a narrator in this who tells Stan what he has to do, so frequent fourth wall jokes. And the identity of who it is is a twist as well, but I'm not going to reveal who it is. But yeah, it's it's fun. The, the narrator is cool. Stan also makes an appearance in it, but and he's very. And if you know Sandy in South Park, you know he's badass. So yeah, I'm not going to delve straight into it. The theme song that I'm playing in the background, it's innocent, it's corny, and I like it. It's absolutely perfect. I've got no problems with this song. Honestly, I prefer the, the, the ending, the, one, the version of the song that you hear in the credits with the female singers. But it's, but it's still a really good song to you either way, whatever version it is. And what also makes this work for me so much is Stan's overall di um, disgust and, and just pure annoyance of the situation he's got himself into it. Because let's be honest, in, in this episode, Stan is, does not want to be with these critters. And he does not want to do the task they do it, but he, he's forced to do it because he's just, I guess he's so, he just feels like they, these critters are innocent and defenseless, so he doesn't want to see him get hurt and yeah everything that happens every twist and turn it seems to put more problems onto Stan and yeah I'm not gonna delve straight into it but it's still really really fine do I have any problems with it honestly maybe I do but to be honest they almost completely leave my head because this Christmas special is absolutely perfect I I would consider this as one of my favorites to watch I remember one time me and my brother showed this to my to my parents 
because we felt like we had just had to and you know what they actually enjoyed themselves too they they had fun they they liked some of the twists and turns they they yeah they just had some fun I think my dad had more fun than my mom but it was still a lot of fun and so yeah I gotta admit it's a good thing to watch every once in a while for Christmas so in the end what am I gonna give us um, I'm gonna give us a nine and a half out of ten has stars probably should give a ten but eh, it's, just, it's a perfect score either way it's still good anyway so yeah nine out of ten now nine and a half out of ten has stars that's what I want to do so, what's next for me? You know, I'm not done with rock, with the violence of Christmas. I think I'm going to go on to a more action-packed Christmas movie. So I'll see you for that next one. In the meantime, Asmas Views is out. And be grateful you're not spending Christmas in South Park. Ciao.